What's up, everybody? Happy Halloween. Or if you already been trick or treating, do you know happy first of the month? Shout out to DJ Series videos. I put, I put the link to the post in the description down below. So supposedly, we are receiving a new DTA Online December update for 2024. And this might just be the last Christmas DLC we get for DTA Online as we're getting closer and closer to DTA 6, which is supposed to come out around this time next year. So hopefully, you know, you know, we're in for a big surprise. A big surprise from Rockstar. But anyways, I don't want to. I don't want to stretch this video out, so let me get into it. With the aid of Pavel, and a former FIB officer, you convert the Darnell Rose Garment Factory and launch a new robbery from the computer terminal side of it, and remotely via a brand that a brand new app on your iPhone. Maybe, maybe they talk about the iPhone phone in the game, like the phone that you tell on the uses that he still hasn't upgraded since 2013. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, December update adds awesome new dispatch, work missions, rides, job creator updates, and upgrades, and a new collectible scanner for the benefactor. Terror by able to spot nearby treasures like action figures, movie props. G's cash drops and more. Many more updates and enhancements are on the way. Such as body armor stock automatically from when launching missions as well as new updates to the Bible Car Club for GTA Plus members. Uh, and all new GTA Online Community Challenges will be issued in November. That, if successfully completed, will unlock special awards in December. PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series XS exclusive features such as how special work or HSW, auto shot, new vehicles, races, trials, and more will arrive on the PC platform in the new year. So, do you remember that video I did a couple weeks ago? I did a video discussing like how PC would be receiving expanded and enhanced features finally after expanded and enhanced being out for two and a half years now, more than two and a half years. So to me, this is a great thing because you get to see PC, you know, finally get those features they've been asking for for so long now. So and it is so so many people on PC who don't have mods. So to the unmoddy type players, the unmodders or the non-modders, this would be a benefit to them because now they don't have to install any downloads to get the HSW colors like the chameleon pinks and all of that. And then on top of that, they don't have to download mods for the, you know, customizations. And it's all next from HSW. By the way, I hope y'all like the background. Got the face cam back. I need to do more of these. But anyways, like I said, PS5, P PC will be receiving PS5 and Xbox Series features. And luckily, we still got until November 6th to get the Halloween stuff. So, you got five more days left. And you better get the Halloween stuff. And if you haven't, please watch my videos. Please. I got pretty much all the Halloween locations for the ghosts. The ghost hunts. I'll put in the link in the description down below in case you did not watch it. Please watch it. Make sure you also watch my pumpkin location video too. Uh, and I have the timestamps right in the link in the description down below. Make sure you check this out. Please, I I need as many people to watch that as possible because this week is going to go by quick. October went by, it kind of felt a little bit slower this year, but it still went by quick. Anyways, and that's through the 6th. Don't miss out. First details on the December update in, in new community. See, I put a link in the description down below. You know, they got the first ever trip. To Lou and Dorf and Yankton. We might get. Based on what we did with the Yankton survival. The, the whole G2 community. We killed 800 million zombies. So therefore we should be receiving something. Special. Due to the challenge we all completed. It does sound exciting. So if you go down. It seems like we will be getting. The Darnell Bros Garment Factory. And if a lot of you aren't familiar with that, that's the Lester. That's where Lester is at. Obviously, his symbol on the map will be right there at that factory. It's like somewhere in La Mesa. And it seems like maybe that might be a property. Possibly because they do say it's under new management. You see the wordplay there, management. Under new management. That could be a clue that Rockstar is planning to make this a factory and maybe a business we could use to infiltrate the FIB. And we got Pavel coming back from the Cayo Perico. If you guys don't know who Pavel is, this is what he looks like right here. This guy is from the Cayo Perico heist that came out in December 2020. And, you know, it's been almost four years now, man. It's been a hot minute, but I remember when I first played KO. Like, Pavel, I did. I, I, I thought he was just some random guy. And I'm, I'm thinking, like, 
Will this guy be in another DLC? He he's a cool guy. I'm I'm thinking like this dude is better than Lester. Like Lester's eating up my cuts. But anyways, Pavel will be returning. They say he's a former FIB officer turned independent contractor. You convert it into a hive for clandestine infiltration operation. We could launch a bevy of thrilling strategic new robberies that will be accessible from the computer terminal inside the Garma factory. So it seems like this is going to be a new business. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm not sure if they're doing Hikes Muff this year because last year I think, I think they did do Hikes Muff. Maybe they'll do it again. And lastly, I think it was around like 800 billion, maybe, or something like that. I'll put a picture up of the channel we did last year. So I'm wondering if they're going to exceed that limit for the community to beat. And, you know, if the GTA community reunites, we just going to keep knocking this down, keep knocking this down, keep knocking this down. Can't wait to see what the community gets up in the next challenge in November. So we might have a challenge in November. As a part of our continued commitment, fair play, respect, safety, and implement additional anti-cheat <laughs> to enhance the servers, uh, um, players, and PC. Encourage everyone to familiarize themselves with community guidelines published this year to continue doing their part. To ensure that detail online remains an enjoyable and fun environment for everybody. So as you all know, that's the battle lot anti-cheat that they added back in September. And I did a video on it if you want to go check it out. Maybe I'll put the link in the description down below. Um, it did create a massive band wave, so the cheat, it kind of did a little bit more harm, harm than good when it comes to, you know, Getting rid of a lot of players' accounts and whoop de I don't want to make this too long, but I really want to see a buff in the body armor. Yes. And it seems like they're refilling automatically whenever you start any type of missions. One other thing, too, that I noticed is that Rockstar made a tweet on Twitter and DC, DCA replied, aka Digital Car Etiquette, he said, fifth gen Viper, baby, let's go. <laughs> it's just so funny that, and so it seems like maybe they'll have a fifth gen Viper somewhere in the game. Man, maybe that'll be called the Banshee, you know. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what they're gonna call the Banshee, but it's, I know it's gonna be called Banshee. Maybe it'll be like maybe a different class, maybe a new 2024 version of the Dodge Viper. That would be interesting. I, I do want more Benny's cars, man. Hopefully Rockstar actually listens to the community and give us some Benny's cars. Okay, cause like, man, oh man, we've been we've been asking for so many Benny's cars for so long, and it's like they still they still be sleeping, bro. Like they be sleeping on Benny's. Man, it's so much potential. So many cars in the game that could have been Bennies and could still be Bennies before GTA 6 comes up. But I know the regular Banshee is a Bennies. So they're probably not going to do it. It's probably just going to be a recycled car that we don't need. And it'll just be something to have. Whatever. One other hint, too. I'm going to move my camera down all the way over here. Is that Tez, too. I think he posted something. Says a former FIB officer turned independent contract. And he put a picture up of Dave Norton. Now, if you guys don't know Dave Norton, he's a FBI agent and single player who Michael does work for in order to, you know, help fund the federal government in GTA story mode and if you play the story you kind of know who he is and stuff like that you know Davey how you doing that mean Dirt Viper made but that's a nice hit I like how, I like what Tez did there possibly possibly don't quote me on this don't take my word for this at all but we might see Dave Norton come back to GTA online might see him reappear in a new update and I'll, I'll put a link to this tweet down below make sure you go check out Tez too I'll put his link in the description down below he knows everything that's going on in, in the GTA community and this is pretty awesome so, maybe, maybe we might see Dave Norton reappear. It's a possibility. I don't, don't quote me on it, though. But, this is about it. You know, I hope you enjoy this. This is pretty much all I'm seeing about the new update. Now, we are still a month and a half away from the December update, so I'm going to leave it at that. I ain't going to say too much. And let me know what you think in the comments down below, too, about it. Peace!